Hello, and welcome to my latest video. Today, we're going to take a look at an iPhone XR where it's in for a simple screen repair. Here is the original screen. The manufacturer of the original screen is um, it's a C11F7C screen, which is Toshiba, I believe. Um, the IC has been removed from this original screen and has been reboiled. Uh, and one of my guys earlier, this was in the queue, one of my guys, we've had a couple of um, screens in where they've gone into stock, but they've got backlight marks. So he just powered the screen on just to check that it worked and to check it for backlight marks. But at the same time, what he noticed was um, that the touch didn't work on the top half. So I'm just going to plug this in and turn it on so that we can see it. Now what I'm going to try and do is, as these um, are found in the queue, we don't normally test for this because we normally just move the IC over uh, and then we have no issues whatsoever. But what I'm going to do is document these the best that I can to show that it's an issue because it's a reason for swapping the IC over. So it's a reset device here. Yes, yes, load power settings. And if I scroll up, and halfway, it stops. So I've got no touch. But if I tap the top, that works, but I've got no touch on that, on that middle bit. So, there. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna take the IC from the original screen there, which was there, um, and I'm gonna take the IC off of this screen, and I'm going to fit the original IC to this new screen. This is the new screen that had a faulty touch. There. And then we're gonna test the touch and we're gonna see what the touch is like afterwards. All right, let's go. Here we go. So here is that new faulty screen with the original IC now on the flex cable. I'll tidy it up before it gets fitted fully, but this is just to see what happens. So same screen, top half didn't work other than in the notches. Only thing that's changed now is the IC that's on the touch panel. Settings up, close, okay. Scroll up, oh. Would you look at that? The touch now works absolutely fine all over the screen. There is no dead spots. Now had this screen have worked in the first place and had we have fitted it and used it for the repair, there's a high chance that after an iOS update, the touchscreen would have either stopped working completely or it would have been half and half or it would have been just completely erratic, which is a lot, what a lot of people are seeing at the moment. So the data that is stored within this touch panel I see on the original screen there, that should be treated like a, um, like a touch ID, like a home button touch ID. If you move that over to every new display, then you will have no touch issues like we had with this screen here. So this screen, rather than going back to the supplier or being re-refurbished with another uh, touch panel on it, this is now perfectly fine to use. So there we go. Take care, guys.